retirement. You won't like it. A day of red on Wall Street amid a slew of sell-offs because of new inflation data. The Dow closed 422 points lower after a surprisingly bad inflation report. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says the inf inflation increased 3.5 percent over the 12 months ending in March. So many thought we had started to tamp down inflation. So the question tonight, what exactly do these numbers mean? First Lord Force Caroline Hacker joining us now with a look at those new numbers specifically in the housing market you looked at today. Caroline, what do people at home need to know? Well, we all know it's been absolutely crazy, especially you've been in the housing market as of late. However, people are getting creative with so little inventory. Buyers, again, having to get a little desperate, creative too, waiving inspections, contingencies, and making offers way over asking price. The bad news, though, coming out of today's report, future home buyers may want to wait a little bit longer. Many economists predicted the Fed would lower interest rates this year, and with mortgage rates around 7% right now for a 30-year fixed rate, you're spending more money for less house, even, that is, if you can find one. So here's some insight from the president of Central Bank of St. Louis. Any sort of expectation from the Fed to lower rates may be pushed back. So in terms of uh, timing, it may be July, it may be later in the year. And we're probably not going to see as many rate cuts as we have uh, expected from some of the economists' predictions in the past. And Caroline, what are you seeing specifically when it comes to people who are renting? A lot of times that's another option for people who yep. maybe can't afford to buy a house at the time. So are people choosing to wait out the craziness of the housing market? We are seeing a lot of people renting right now mm -hmm. to do just that. Right. They can't afford to buy into the housing market, so they're renting. But keep in mind, it's important, once rates come down, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easier to get a house because mm -hmm. now you're going to have more competition amongst buyers. Everybody wants that low rate. So it's a really tricky time to decide mm -hmm. when to pull the trigger. You kind of just have to weigh your pros and cons personally and figure out what works best yep. for you. All right, Caroline, thank you.